So hello guys, once again my name is Seth Skies and today I want to show you how you can add a 3D text into your drawing in HCAD. I'm using HCAD 25, feel most welcome. So I'm going to show you the procedures on bus step as you can add a 3D text into your drawing. So first of all, as you can see my drawing, and place the 3D text on top of my story building. These are for it's a flat roof no, not not actually a flat roof it's just a story building with four floors and on top of my on my flats I've placed it with the award this is a 3d text as KK flats yeah this is just an indication that these flats are owned by someone and the flats if you want to locate a certain flats you just locate with the name that that flats contain this these flats i've tr just named it kiki flats for this tutorial so let's get started so first of all i want to delete this so i'll just come to my to my plan yeah this i've placed this text on the fourth on the fourth floor so I'm going to delete it yeah like that as you can see it's no longer there good so first of all before you do anything you have to indicate the first thing that you are supposed to indicate is where you're going to put your text so mine I've decided to put it here yeah on this small section of my top roof uh, this is my as you can see this is just on top of my flats so I just think that it would be better if I placed it here so first of all go to your object option yeah in design you have these things here as the wall slab yeah this is the wall this is a column beam slab roof shell stairs rail cutting wall so i have a dot tool windows skylight tool opening tool zone tool mesh tool morph tool in object tool this is where you are going to use so you just have to come and click there then on this option of search search the word text or 3d text uh, this is what you are going to use so you just click the on it and then it will bring you to this platform so just come and do your settings so with me just feel like I should just do some setting this this world I just want to put it at 180 180 it means the width of my text and this one that you are seeing it does indicating as the height this is the height or the length of your text so I want to put the length of my text to have for 50 millimeters then from there you come to 3d settings uh, here is where you select on text this is where you select on which one do you want to use for instance, let me use uh, rural apartments, for example. Uh, so I like using Times New Roman as my font type. Yeah, in my x and y axis and send axis in my x axis i usually like using 90 degrees this sh simply means as you can see this symbol here when you see the rotation around y it's zero degrees it simply means that your text is going to be at an angle of zero horizontally and then in x axis in x axis the and x axis in your x axis your text is going to stand at an angle of 
90 degrees celsius okay i mean 90 degrees we are not talking of temperature sorry so 90 degrees just simply means this is zero when you rotate this from here at this point you go to an angle of 45 degrees celsius when you rotate this you go to an angle of oh sorry this is 90 180 to 70 360 and then half of it is 45 degrees celsius yeah so this is zero then you come to this point this is 90 degrees then you come to this point this is it to seven no 180 to 70 and then 360 then you start again so that's why you see it's being indicated as uh, 0 90 yeah degrees so from there okay i was here that's why you see it's indicated like this um, with the preview the color pen can just decide to you change it let me use black uh, the text also you can just decide to choose the color of your choice so let me use yellow good uh, let me use black i got black then i go to model In model i think this is good yeah they look good together because my wall has a vermilion paint and i think if i put a text of ultramarine violet it's going to go i think it's going to look good with the vermilion so from there just click ok I don't think whether there are any settings that I need to do. Just click OK. Okay. Then I'll just come to my this is my ground floor, this is first floor, second, third, fourth. I want to put my text on top of the fourth floor. So I'll just come to my fourth floor there and then place my text. So here you just come and hold shift then on your text then hold control plus d and then drag it so that it can coincide exactly with the wall then come to your 3d to do your settings oh sorry this text i think i have not highlighted the name so i'll just come back on oh, my and then go to objects then i'll just go to text i just want to change this right let's say rear rear flats and click ok so hold control plus d so I can precise it. Oh, it's so big. Let's see how it look like. Oh, let's see it on 3D. Real flats. That's too big. So I just come to my preview and settings and change this. Let me put it 180. And this one, I think, let me put 400 see on that uh, and we need to select it from the uh, 2d section that's i think that's why not changing 400 uh, near 180 so here's where i come and play with the settings so Hold Control plus D, and then adjust the tricks to the position of my center view. I think there. Uh, can just squeeze it again. Let's see it on 3D. Uh, 
think this size is good for me so from here I just come to arrow tool this way I'm going to adjust it just come select the arrow then I'll select the text the text object and then drop it down oh, sorry you can select it then squeeze it downwards like that till it fits where I want to put it yeah I think click escape oh, yeah yeah good I think this look good let me confirm from my store building what it's concising the wall yeah exactly it has to coincide with the wall the text and the wall have they must flash together so that it can just look exactly like a real a real text in 3d so that it cannot go inside the wall or just hang out yeah it's just as simple as that as you can see so guys this is the shortest way of adding a 3d text into your archka drawing thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates like this